In the musical dialogue, written in 1994, the conductor Nicholas Arno Coeur, specialist in Baroque music, now deceased, presents numerous data concerning this music, in order to help performers to understand it better. In a specific section of this book, he addresses the question of the transition from Baroque music to classical music. He compares the ancient vision of music, that of composition and performance in the Baroque era, based on the use of a complex musical rhetoric, perfectly mastered by the performers and understood by the listeners, even when those ones had little musical education, with the vision developed during the Romantic era, where it is all about absolute music. This latter vision asserts that music is good as long as it touches the listener, who does not need to have any musical knowledge to appreciate it. Arno Kerr explains that the change of vision between the Baroque era and the Romantic era is due to the fact that Romantic music is essentially based on melody, whereas Baroque music had a subtle rhetoric, and relied upon a theory called theory of passions. That theory present musicians immersing themselves in given passions in order to transmit them to their listeners. The conductor goes on to say that, since the middle of the 19th century, Musicians have been taught that rhetorical music has less value than pure, absolute music. He deplores this situation and considers that this kind of statement is responsible for the lack of motivation among musicians, who no longer want to study the nuances of Baroque music. He says that this has negative consequences during music performances, like an incorrect punctuation of musical phrases. Despite the fact that Nicholas Arno Kerr was a great conductor, we cannot endorse the idea of an impoverished romantic music, compared to Baroque music, and we do not want to say that the structure of any Baroque piece of music is, by nature, more complex than that of romantic music. Furthermore, we cannot develop more in-depth considerations related to questions of interpretation. Nicholas Arno Kerr's reflection is however, of immense value because it questions the idea of musical structure as it has been thought since the middle of the 19th century. As a specialist in Baroque music, the conductor, who however also directed the performance of romantic works, notably scores written by Beethoven, wants, of course, to restore a certain discipline among performers. Let us notice that the conductor, in his book, does not speak at all about contemporary classical music and even less about popular music genres even the most elaborate ones, such as jazz and folk music. For our part, we are developing a search engine, a music search engine called Why Music. Therefore, rather than making a value judgment on visions of music which, to a certain extent, contradict each other, we would rather nurture them, renew them, and make new ones emerge. Indeed, contemporary music and popular genres, including ethnic and folk music, also have a structure. In addition, the analysis of musical content as practiced by academic musical circles is perhaps not, or no longer, as uniform as the comments of Nicholas Arno Kerr suggest. First of all because more and more musicology departments within universities have one or another research project in computer music and are sensitive to new musical elements, such as synthetic sounds. And there is, among musicians who write for popular genres, an increasing interest in the analysis of their own music. Beyond these debates related to musical genres, we wish, with the help of the Y Music search engine, to enhance the analysis of all musical content, whatever it is, and to provide musicians with new types of data, such as the range of duration and the range of pitch in the whole work of a composer. This is just an example. To know more about Y Music, we invite you to watch on this channel the videos of a playlist entitled Collection and Presentation of Musical Data. We are convinced that these data can shed a new light on already known problems, bring new solutions and raise new questions. And we invite you to test why music.